I was an athlete. I retired because of injury. Now I'm a full-time businessman in dairy, real estate, and supermarket. My latest career started way back when I was in armed forces. That is when I met some guys training, and some few guys really motivated me to be an athlete. Two years down the line, I represented this country in World Junior Championship in Bulgaria. I won a call in 1500. One month again, down the line, I went to African Championships and I won a call in 1500. That was 1990. <laughs> 1991, I won World Championships in Tokyo. The same year again, African Games, I won a call in 3000 steeplechase. 92, I caught injured. I didn't make the Olympic team because I was injured. Then AK called me back to, to be in the team and I said no. I wanted to do something extraordinary and that thing was I wanted to break a record that year. Within a couple of one month I had broken two world records and two Kenyan records. Then 1998 I got injured, I ruptured my Achilles. In 2000 I was forced to retire. The only thing I didn't achieve in athletics is to be an Olympic champion. But at least I had a silver. But how many people can be Olympic champion? Very few. I was not lucky. But I still feel I've left a mark in the athletics career. Breaking world record and being a world champion, three times world champion. And I broke records seven times. Especially we were running under sub eight minutes in 3,000 steeplechase. That really mat matters a lot to me. I've been running all those races. I wanted again to show that I can also do other things better. And this is what I'm doing currently. The little money that I managed to save, I need to plow it back to other businesses. It's a big honor to represent uh, your country. It's something I still feel up to today. How many people have opportunity to do the same? Very few. So I don't take it for granted. The national anthem is being played. Oh my, if you feel tears just rolling down. It's something big. I tried to go to management of athletics, but there were a lot of politics and a lot of ethnicity. I feel Moses should not be there. I need to preserve my dignity. If I was not supposed to be a leader in athletics, let it be, let me do other things and enjoy my life. If there's anything that I want to do in this athletics, I could make this country a super powerhouse in athletics. All the way from 400 to marathon. The stars that you are moving and the heroes you are watching, they have, never, they have not been developed by AK or Kenya. Just see the facilities and the number of athletes that we have. If we are producing top class athletes with almost zero facilities, we can do better if we have these facilities and train our coaches and have programs all the way to primary school. I didn't have a coach. I had to listen to my book. I had to read a lot of magazines. And when I'm watching athletics, I listen what they're saying. I see the level of fitness of athletes. And I ask myself, what can I do so that I can make it better? A lot of guys have passed through my system. Kimboy, Kitwara, Ngeng, Shaheen, Ruto, Paul. And I was doing it not because I wanted to make money out of them. I loved really to see people training hard and performing well.